Hi there, this is Michael King, and today we are going to answer the question, how do you choose the right LASIK surgeon? And so, if you are in a major city, there's a very good chance that there's a variety of different options that are for you. And so, um, I'm a big believer in transparency, and I'm a huge believer in going with your gut and what feels right. And so, I'd highly advise any anybody if you're a friend or family member or just anybody that I know, if you're considering laser vision correction, just check out your different options and, and feel free to call around and to talk to the different practices. But if you're looking for as a surgeon, you obviously want to have somebody who's uh, very caring, who's obviously extremely experienced, uh, who's done a lot of the actual cases themselves. This is not like we're going to buy a car. This is a medical procedure where it's not necessarily going to the least expensive option is the right choice. Um, really what I like to do is I like to make sure that I feel that the practice that I've chosen is, has my best interest at heart. And so it's just, it's one of those things There's actually, the, the good news is, is there's a lot of very reputable and awesome surgeons out there. Um, just make sure you do your homework and, and check around again for experience, what technology are they using? How do you feel when you come into the practice? I'd also highly recommend you check out their online reputation. And so when it comes to Facebook or Yelp or Google, that's always a really good place to, to kind of hear what other people and see what other people have been experiencing at that practice. And so um, once you've done a little bit of that due diligence, uh, check out their website. Hopefully they've got a few different things you can interact with, a, a LASIK self-test or a patient guide info kit, uh, or maybe just a, a few other different things, but the best next step for you is gonna be to come in and uh, actually get that initial consultation done. That'll really help you to do, number one, find out if you are a good candidate, but number two, how do you feel about that practice? So hopefully that's been of help for you. Um, looking forward to uh, answering any questions, just post them below. Take care, bye-bye.